Hi, my name is Nani Colaretti. I am the Deputy Secretary here at HUD, and I'm sitting here with Ann Oliva, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Special Needs, and Rita Flagel, and Ben Ayers from the Office of AIDS, HIV AIDS Housing. Hello. Hello. Hey. Thanksgiving is a time to get together with family, and for many, it marks the beginning of the holiday season. Back in Hawaii, where I grew up, we did the full Thanksgiving meal, even though it was sunny outside and not at all like a traditional fall gathering. One holiday you may not be aware of this season is World AIDS Day. World AIDS Day is December 1st every year, so it's a great event to discuss while you're gathering with your friends and family around the turkey. World AIDS Day raises awareness on the need for the world to come together to fight HIV, support individuals living with HIV, and remember those who have died from complications of the virus. It's also a time to work towards ending the stigma around HIV. Right, Ben? Absolutely. Ignorance and stigma help spread the virus, and you can make a difference in the fight against HIV by sharing information about the virus with your friends and family this holiday season. Uh, so let's start with the basics. First of all, HIV and AIDS, they're related, but they're not the same. HIV is the virus that attacks the immune system, and when HIV has attacked and destroyed a large number of CD4 cells in the immune system, the individual will receive an AIDS diagnosis. Uh, with stable housing, people living with HIV can maintain a healthy lifestyle and greatly limit their likelihood of transmitting the disease with medications known as antiretroviral treatment. Thanks, Ben. You know, stigma makes HIV worse because it can make people living with HIV feel helpless, dirty, and guilty. It's so important to remember that nobody deserves HIV. If you have one takeaway from today, that's it. Nobody deserves HIV. Injection drug use happens for many reasons. It may be that a person is coping with larger struggles in their life. Those individuals need our support, not to be shamed, and they certainly don't deserve HIV. And HIV can also be spread through just one instance of unprotected sex. People living with HIV were not asking for it, and HIV is not a punishment. The stigma of HIV makes people not want to tell others of their diagnosis and not want to seek support. Fear can also make people not want to get tested out of fear of a positive diagnosis. So this is part of the reason why one out of every eight people living with HIV in the United States are unaware of their infection. By talking about HIV like we're doing today, we can work to end the stigma surrounding the virus and support the people in our lives who are living with HIV. Here at HUD, we in the Office of HIV AIDS Housing support individuals living with HIV by administering the HOPWA program. That's the Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS program. Why do we do this? Because 50% of Americans living with HIV or AIDS will experience a housing crisis at some point in their life. We want to make sure those individuals don't have to worry about where they're going to lay their head at night or have to choose between medication and housing. And HUD also plays an important role in making sure people living with HIV don't experience housing discrimination just because of their HIV status. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've learned something about HIV or have been inspired to start talking about HIV to help end the stigma around it. As we get closer to World AIDS Day, it is a great time to get tested for HIV. And remember, an HIV test is the only way to know your status. Uh, so go out and get tested. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Everybody. Thanksgiving.